hey, you know when people build uh, buildings, houses, those workers, construction workers, they uh, work on, on the very uh, uh, high positions, on the high floors, and in order to protect themselves, they usually use so-called safety nets. They put those safety nets around the building and those nets are supposed to catch them or their instruments if they make a mistake and they fall down or they maybe drop somebody down. So the safety net goes around the building in order to protect us if we're workers, if we fall down, and protect people who are walking beneath uh, like walking on the ground and if we drop something or we fall down then nobody gets killed in most cases of course if you drop uh, maybe two heavy things or something then maybe the safety net is not going to help you at all but in general the safety net is just like an instrument like an element of uh, like like an element of work like uh, the key component of the work of those construction workers so let me compare that with us programmers so I believe that uh, we also have something like the safety net. We must have something like that. And we call it automated testing, automated tests. So when I write the code, I, uh, I know that I make mistakes. I know that when I write this part of the code, I break that part of the code. I know that when I refactor this code, I break some functionality. I know when I improve the code, I potentially may break the functionality. If I just make changes and then I deploy the code to production, and there is no automated test in front of me and no manual test, no test, then just the, the probability of breaking the production, the probability of ruining somebody's life, I mean, I'm, I'm exaggerating, but potentially making uh, some big problems is very high. The probability is high because there is no safety net between me and, uh, and production and, and my customers. So in order to organize some sort of a safety net, we create automated tests. So the tests are being executed automatically every time I change the code. Every time I move on the height, let's say I'm a construction worker, I know that there is a safety net beneath me. And if I drop something there, if I make a mistake, nobody gets killed and I'm not, and I'm not gonna be dead. When I work with the code, I also like to feel the same. And without such feeling, without such uh, an assurance, my productivity just goes down. I just work slower. I also can code. I also can, you know, deploy, deliver, whatever. But the speed of that is going to be much lower compared to the situation when I feel completely safe. That's the same for construction workers. They also can work slow, of course, without the safety net. But how slow it will be? Very slow because they will be scared. It's going to be fear-driven development, like they say about us programmers. So that's why they invent invented the safety net to make their work faster. So this protection actually guarantees faster uh, delivery, better productivity of programmers. If you don't have unit tests in your code, then you can continue working, but your productivity will be just lower. So unit tests is like an instrument, it's like part of the work, it's a key component, it's our key instrument. Without this instrument, the, the, the speed of our work is, is, very, is very low. So that's why when people say that uh, we don't have unit tests because we don't have time to create them or because nobody paid us, paid us to create them. It's the same as listening to construction workers saying, you know, we, don't, we, didn't, we didn't put the safety net around us, beneath us, because nobody paid us for the safety net. We just don't have money to make it. It's just ridiculous because if you don't have the safety net, we know that you will work 10 times slower. Everything will be 10 times slower. So first, before you start working, you build this safety net and then you uh, continue working. You cannot just say that uh, it's, just, it's just weird to hear that, that we don't have time, we don't have money, we don't have budget, or we don't have expertise to create unit tests, automated tests. Without them, you will be extremely, uh, extremely slow, much slower uh, comparing to how fast you can move if you have automated tests. So automated tests are the safety net for us programmers. Without them, we are uh, much slower. Think about this perspective. Look at the tests as a protection for you, as a guarantee of your safety, as, a, as a something that relieves you from, from, from fear, from the brain damage you may have when you're not sure what will happen uh, if you put your broken code to production, how much money your company may lose, how many customers will be unhappy. You don't want these thoughts to be in your head at all. 
they will only slow you down. You need to be absolutely sure that, yes, okay, I can break anything. It doesn't matter. I can change the code here, or there, or there. I don't care because I know that if I break something serious, there's an automated test which will catch me. If you know this, you can easily move faster, refactor the code, improve it, introduce features, and do everything else. Without safety net, you're slow, super slow, and your development is driven by fear. You're just being scared, afraid to make, to make the next move. Think about it. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.